Hi everyone, <laughs> Anthony Fantano here, the internet's tiredest music nerd. And it's time for a review. The Satisfaction on Natural. The Satisfaction is a Seattle-based duo, Stasia Irons and Katherine Harris White, and this is their latest LP. This is not their first release, but this is the first time a lot of people are hearing about them because they have really upped the recording quality of their music this time around. They are also releasing this thing on Sub Pop Records, and this comes off the heels of some really nice vocal features on that Shabazz Palaces album, Black Up, that came out last year. And if you love that Shabazz Palaces LP, I would, in a heartbeat, recommend this to you, just without question. I wouldn't even think, yeah, listen to it. Because when it comes to alternative and abstract hip-hop, The Satisfaction and Shabazz Palaces are, are kind of kindred spirits. But do not go into this expecting, like, a Black Up sequel, or even simply a, a hip-hop album. Because even though there is common ground between these two artists, including some vocal features from Ishmael Butler on this LP as well, The Satisfaction incorporates a lot more genres of music into their tracks, to me. This LP features really smooth, soulful female vocals, as well as really monotone rap vocal deliveries that just come off very intense, self-produced instrumentals using some original instrumentation as well as samples that, that build these tracks that are equal parts electronica, R&B, neo-soul, jazz, funk, spoken word, lots of lyrics dealing with philosophy and positivity and Afrocentrism, feminism, as well as personal things like food preferences and, and love. It really reminds me of the very chill, laid-back food for thought that groups like De La Soul, The Jungle Brothers, and, and A Tribe Called Quest used to put out. Stuff that was sometimes very funny and, and clever, but other times serious and, and very thought-provoking. So take all those elements, throw in some Erica Badu, and then a very clear focus on, on making music for the future and you kind of have the satisfaction, kind of have the satisfaction in a nutshell. Now there are 13 tracks on here. Those songs really only kind of cover about 30 minutes of music. There are some tracks on here that are under two minutes, very short, abrupt. There are some surprise stops and, and fade outs at the end of some of these tracks and it becomes a little bit of a downside. I wish some of these songs were drawn out a little further. They would have had a better impact on me if they did. But still, kind of despite the length I would have have liked, On Natural just delivers some, some really potent tracks with very strong sounds and messages. One of the first tracks on this LP, Bitch, has this panoramic hand percussion just all over the track. Some hand claps are in there, a very nimble bass line. Then the lyrics come in and they kind of tell this story, I think, of, of getting with somebody really quickly, kind of falling in love quickly, and then becoming that person on the side and flipping out, kind of going insane. To me, it's kind of like listening to this drum circle slash poetry slam of, of somebody's own personal emotional meltdown, and I love it. On the next track, the singing plays a bigger role, as well as the jazz influences on this LP with some very angular and ominous dark and, and kind of difficult vocal melodies. There are these really rich acoustic piano chords and a really kind of unsettling rap verse toward the end of the track, mentioning things like Obama and militarism and rainbow flags and ashes. The track Extinct and some moments toward the end of this LP has some really strong jazz melodies to them too that, that I love a lot. But the satisfaction changes things up. The song Queens, which was the first single from this LP, which I was not so hot on at first, but now I'm completely into, is like this electrified and bastardized disco groove. I'm listening to this 
2012 updated, smoothed out and glossy and stoned version of like a Patti LaBelle song or something. The lyrics are telling people not to funk with the Satisfaction's groove and the, and the chorus also kind of pokes fun at swag a bit. Later in the album, things change up on the, on the instrumental juice, which is this instrumental electronic jazz hybrid that reminds me a lot of Flying Lotus. And in the middle of this whole album, there's this one track that <laughs> it's, it's titled Sweat. And I'm surprised it wasn't a single for this LP because I think it's the most accessible thing on here. The track samples these horn and, and drum breaks that sound like they were recorded about 20 years ago or so, and the way Stasha's and, and Catherine's vocals lace up on the hook of this track, it just kind of feels like a, a sweet R&B jam from the 90s. The satisfaction still kind of makes it their own, even though it is the poppiest thing I think this album has to offer, they still take it out there. They still put a really eccentric spin on it. Toward the end of this LP, the album delivers two stellar tracks featuring Ishmael Butler from Shabazz Palace is on. The last two tracks on here, though, I am a bit, I don't know, I guess, I guess upset about. They're so short, and they don't feel all that developed, though at first, when they start, I get kind of excited because they present a really great idea, a really great groove, or a sound, or something that I wish turned into a much longer song, but what are you gonna do? Still, despite some tracks on here that I desperately wish were longer. This album just delivers a lot of boldness, a lot of creativity, some fantastic songs, and just a really nice personality. I did kind of end up leaving this thing feeling a bit hungry, but the flavor was really strong, very spicy. I wish I had more, but it's still a meal I'm not really gonna forget for a long time. In fact, I think I'll come back to it. So, kind of feeling a decent 8 on this thing. Thought it was great. Uh, what do you think about it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? If you do, why? And what should I review next? Anthony Fantano, The Satisfaction, Forever.